Chris, what is our fourth main topic today? Fourth topic comes from Anish. Good day, everyone. James Gunn went on Twitter and announced that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was now done. But what is more interesting is that he says that there is an unannounced actor in the movie that they're still keeping hidden from the public. Are you excited for Guardians of the Galaxy 3? And who do you think this top secret actor is? Rob, what are your thoughts? Well, Chris, <laughs> uh, first of all, I have loved both Guardians of the Galaxy movies. I, I loved Guardians of the Galaxy 2. People Same. are like, it's not as good as one. I'm like, I don't. I don't think so. I really like the idea of fractured families coming together. Mm -hmm. I, I love Kurt Russell. So, oh, yeah. and I, I, I thought it was terrific. I loved, I mean, who would have thought only James Gunn would put ego in a movie. Yeah. I have no idea who the unnamed actor and unnamed character is. I mean, we know that Warlock is going to be in this. We mm -hmm. know, we know. So there's a character and an actor that has gone unannounced and a character that we don't know. Knowing James Gunn, he, he, it could have been the most obscure Marvel character ever. Like, mm -hmm. I have no idea who it's going to be. I can't even speculate at this point. I mean, I never thought I'd see King Shark in a Suicide Squad movie. Yeah. So I, I, unless I sat down and did some kind of deep dive into the Marvel pantheon of characters, whoever this character is, I'm sure it's a character that only James Gunn would come up with Absolutely. i have no idea i don't want to speculate but it was really exciting i mean i love how james gunn just casually goes yeah you know zoe saldana is here but i couldn't show her because she's in a picture with a yet unnamed actor who's in this movie i mean and now here we are talking about it, speculating yeah. on monday morning what a tease. they're brilliant at how they market this stuff <laughs> i mean i'm just like i'm excited what about what about you john well i mean look a lot of people speculated because he also shared a picture of zoe saldana with his fiance who I forget the actress's name, but she's you know one of the stars of uh, Peacemaker. Peacemaker, right? Yeah. And so a lot of people thought, oh, that's what you're talking about. But he clarified that no, it wasn't talking about her. So look, number one, it has to be somebody significant. It's not just going to be some kind of third level tier kind of like to specifically say it's an unnamed actor and we have to hide them. That tells so I so number one, I it's got to be somebody significant. Number two, I think it's going to be somebody new because so I don't think it's going to be Stallone reprising his role as the Ravager. I don't think oh, it's you would going to tell be... us. Yeah, I, and he's already been there, right? Yeah. So it's not that big of a secret. Plus, I think we heard he was going to appear in it anyway, right? So, I mean, Michelle Yeoh it can't be Michelle Yeoh. She's already appeared in it, so she might be in it, but she's not the big thing. So, I don't know if this is. I will say this though. I think it's an MCU personality. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's somebody who's been in Guardians. It, that's interesting. But I will go out on a limb, like whether it's a Doctor Strange, and please, I'm not saying John Campia said it's going to be Doctor Strange. No, no, no. But I'm saying somebody like a Doctor Strange, somebody like a War Machine, somebody mm. like uh, Scarlett Johansson, somebody like, I mean, I, I again, I'm not saying who, but I think, again, number one, it's a big name. Number two, it's not somebody we've seen in Guardians already. But number three, I think... I'm going to guess it's going to be an, a Marvel personality. I don't know, Chris, what do you huh. think? Well, I've just been thinking about how we've, we keep hearing how this version of the Guardians, this is probably their last hurrah together, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So we need to bring in some other Guardian characters. So I'm just hyped thinking, like, is this going to be someone playing Angela? Could we finally get Beta Ray Bill? You know, <laughs> I, I would die if oh we got God. Beta Ray Bill. That would be oh, so oh, I would be so excited. And so I, I don't care who plays these characters, truly. I just want these characters to show up because that is some really, really cool stuff that I want Marvel to play with. And I think James Gunn is the person to introduce somebody like a Beta Ray Bill. Mm -hmm. I but hope that's right. Let me ask this, though. Are, mm -hmm. Would... Would people lose their minds in a bad way, though, if you introduce Beta Ray Bill and it's not in a Thor property? Like, I I mean, or, or are people just so excited to get a Beta Ray Bill that, hey, even if it's in Guardians of the Galaxy, because it is, you know, it's in space, yeah. that right, that's okay. Right, I don't know. Right. What do you think, Rob? Will people accept that? I, I think people might accept that because Beta Ray Bill has a pretty long history. I, I would think it's a little weird because I associate Beta Ray, Beta Ray, Beta Ray Bill with Thor. But it would be kind of a cool way to bring. I, it's funny, John, because I think that maybe Guardians is a better fit to introduce Beta Ray Bill <laughs> maybe. than Thor because of the character. Yeah. You know, the character, they haven't really done. I mean, in a way, Korg, Korg is nothing like Beta Ray Bill, but Korg was kind of this crazy, wacky, fun character that they've now brought into the 
Thor mythology. Right. So that's your wacky character. And if they brought in Beta Ray Bill, it might unbalance it all. But I could see, I could see them bringing Beta Ray Bill into. Now, by the way, I'm not saying they are. People are yeah. like Robert Ed and John Campbell. You said and Chris Corse said they're bringing Beta Ray Bill into the Guardians. I, I don't think that's the case. And it's Andy Circus playing him. There you go, dude. There you go. Crack the go. By all means, spread that around the internet. I have broken the code. Andy Circus <laughs> was at, on set. He is Beta Ray Bill. There you go. And he's already been in the MCU. So you know. Oh yeah, that's right. Because yeah. he, yep. well, I could. Doing motion capture and doing a... He would be... I'd love that. All right, guys. Question happen. is for you. What do you think about this whole situation? James is saying that, hey, we've wrapped Guardians 3, which is amazing. Also, a movie that we never thought we were going to get after the whole fiasco a couple of years ago. So there's that. But also he says there's an unnamed actor that we cannot let people see. Who or what do you think that is? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a minute and thank the sponsors of this video, Liquid IV. Now listen, just one stick of Liquid IV added to 16 ounces of water will hydrate you faster and more efficiently than just water alone. It contains five essential vitamins like B3, B5, B6, B12, and of course vitamin C with three times the electrolytes as traditional sports drinks. And what makes Liquid IV so effective is the science of cellular transport technology or CTT. You see, it's designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into your bloodstream faster and more efficiently. You know, Ann and I get up pretty early in the morning to go to the gym because we can't go to the gym at any other time during the day. And for the last couple of weeks, I have been drinking one full glass of water with liquid IV. And all I can tell you is you can feel the difference during the workout. So go and grab liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code Campia at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use the promo code Campia, that's C-A-M-P-E-A, at liquidiv.com. Experience better hydration today when you go to liquidiv.com. And remember, use the promo code at checkout, Campia.